the moment I run a seven, we're dropping it. And I'm absolutely gutted. So we've got the whole issue with the jump start the car. Well, how do I Guys, we're back at Santa Pod. We had an issue, as you know, with the all-wheel drive unit. What happened? Santa Pod. With the all-wheel drive unit, right? Uh, Tony Palo knows. Yeah, everyone knows that's involved with the map, which is only Tony Palo. But <laughs> yeah, we're back here today. Weather's not looking great. The car's getting wet now, which is with the barn doors open. We're not going to offload it just yet. But yeah, it's a headwind. If you look at the flags over there, flying towards the start line. Um, so it's not looking promising today. It's spitting it down a bit as well. Yeah. So I'm, there's I think I'm Ill, but I'm going to get worse now. But Tracks I'm cold. Happy. Buzz is cold. I'm cold. I'm ready to die. <laughs> not, not, not racing, I meant like if I get ill. So we're waiting for the rain to stop and I'll float the car. Uh, hopefully we'll see a few cars running today before us so we can see what slicks are doing on the track. We can only run slicks today by the way, it's an FIA, test and tune. Um, yeah, we have, we've approved all regulation, all yeah. our car meets all the safety requirements. Absolutely. And yeah, so we'll see if we can get this seven. We are out here today to get this seven. The car's ready for a seven. Uh, that's fact. Um, because it's done an eight months off the trailer, it's got much more power now. Uh, Tony said it had a lot more in it, the 8 1 pass. So now it's, today it's not about has the car got the ability to do it, it's more about the track. So it's a bit disappointing at well, the moment. We have, it's we cold. have a secret plan. Yeah. Well, what's the plan, bro? No, 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 we'll think of it. We'll think of it. <laughs> so let's see, let's see what happens today. I mean, the only thing we can do is try. This is how the cookie crumbles. Weather can't be predicted in the UK. It's such an awesome day, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be on that day with the issue we had with the car. Uh, but yeah, big up Tony for supporting this morning as well. Big up JM Imports for making sure, and Raz especially for working overtime on a Sunday to make sure the car's ready. Sick guy. Yeah, Sick guy. so let's see what happens today. We're hopeful that it will clear up. The car only needs two or three runs. What time is it now? It's like, it's, it's like nine o'clock, right? Quarter to 10, yeah. Okay, quarter to 10. So we know that the weather will get better at about 5 p.m., which is when they're gonna close the track. So we may be here all day just waiting for the weather to get better. Correct, right. that's how it goes. Yeah, I'm not hoping for big things right now because the track is really cold. let off because something wasn't right. It's not the first run. Uh, it didn't want to light up the rear wheels on the burnout, so I couldn't really get heat into my rear tires. After what happened on Saturday, I thought, let me just send it without a burnout. So we launched it without a burnout. Still got 1.4 60 foot, so it wasn't a bad 60 foot to be fair. I had a fuel pressure trip, so Motec tripped me out. So we're sending a log over right now to Tony. Tony's ready, waiting up and early in Texas. Hopefully there's nothing major and we can still run. It's raining. Bro, the I'll lens is wet. So you might see the look of disappointment on my face. I am disappointed, but like we say, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, every cloud is a silver lining, literally. It pissed down with rain this morning. Track opened at, what, one, two o'clock. We've got one run in, which is dialing in the uh, burnout mode. It's a lot different on Motec than it was on Cyvex. And then as soon as it broke up for lunch, we were ready to go. We were ready, all set. New clutch learned, done. Car was in good, good shape to go down the track. And yeah, you know, the weather, heavens opened. The rain everywhere. It's been absolutely awful. It's been a, it's been a shower. It's not even been a mist, it's not been a drizzle, it was drizzly this morning, but it's been a shower. And um, unfortunately, it's four o'clock now, we're half four. Uh, the track has been closed. The prep was absolutely spot on, and I'm absolutely gutted that we didn't manage to perform on this track, uh, simply down to time and the weather. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I am gutted, I am disappointed, but at the same time, I'm happy the car didn't break down, I'm happy the car's great. But yeah, the seven second dream has not been achieved just yet. The nice thing, it's not meant to be straight <laughs> off the trailer, 8.1, feathering the throttle. Yeah. That was his first run. Yeah. I, mean, I like, suppose that's why I'm gutted. Weather, but yeah. you know what, I reckon next time off the trailer, you'll be on the money. Yeah, And seven exactly. seconds, you're knocking on the door of it. Yeah, we're knocking on the door, we're ready for it. We're not even running anywhere near full power. But I think it's the anticipation that's killing me. It's not meant to be today, but it will be soon. So subscribe. The moment I run a seven, we're dropping it on the channel. Morning, guys. So we've just come from the police station after picking up Morgan, our media guy, who was arrested for being drunk and intoxicated, and he got done for public indecency. The problem with that is we've got an important day today. 
We're on the way to Santa Pod with the Joker GTR in the quest for 70. The trailer was parked up about an hour away, so I phoned up my boy Raj at Car Audio Security, the, the king of car audio, and uh, said to him, Raj, you got so many properties, you're a multi billionaire, you got all this commercial real estate around me. Can I use a little bit of a car park space to put my trailer in so we can run straight to Pod tomorrow morning without wasting much time? And he said, Yeah, cool. So I picked up Car Audio. And uh, Jack Malpass is here with me a buzz, and of course, Morgan yourself, you'll be getting down and dirty today, checking tyre pressures and all sorts, um, helping us out because we are running today without any qualified tech support. We haven't got G from GV, he's on the Great Escape Store with Simon. Uh, we haven't got JM. Live, breathe, and die, JM. We're not going to die today, though. Yeah. Nearly there, nearly there. Nearly there. Just to death, or? No, <laughs> at Santa Ford. Oh. Uh, but yeah, just before we sign off, I just want to pick up JM. Big <laughs> up you again. So it doesn't need a jump start because the battery's fully charged. Famous last words. What were you saying? What were you saying, bro? You know what? Wait, wait. Try again. Accelerator. Proper car, mate. Proper car. By the way, guys, listen. One of our closest boys, Jack Malpass, he's here again. You've got a question. What does he do for a living to be able to afford to come to every single event we're at? 100% he sells drugs. <laughs> Doors it, by the way. HMRC, I'm watching. Morgan, get your clothes off. Let me just try this. Yeah. This is supposed to be. It's supposed to be what rocks? Like the flipping daddy. Who's this? Error. Fuck! Dude. Oh. Oh. Wait, let, let go of one. What, what are you doing, bro? Why has it got an error? Bro, why are you on the fuck? <laughs> That's because it's on here, right? <laughs> yeah, I've already tied that off. Yeah, yeah. Yo. Don't try that at home. Oh, you got the wrong way round for oh, fuck's boy. sake, bro. Mate, what is wrong with you? Pressure. Mate, what are you wrong? Lucky I told you it's an error. Imagine taking a day out of your lives, coming to Santa Pod on the perfect condition day, and not being able to get your car started because the battery shit itself. Just imagine that. Try the Ranger though. It's a better idea. It's going faster. That was down to me. That was me and my revenue. I'm excited to see it running. Got to the start line and uh, done the burnout, launched. As I just do the burnout on Motec, car stalled, battery's given up. Kicking myself right now, because the car's been stored in G, Advanced Auto Technics Workshop for about two weeks now. She's got a new battery put in it. But the battery was new by JM Imports, only what, a couple of months ago when they let the car out. But yeah, now we're gonna try charging it up and uh, somehow make this car go down that strip today, whether it kills us. This guy is like my Jesus. I don't even know what that means. He's gonna make sure we run a seven today. Battery was fucked. Should have changed it ages ago, but we hadn't because it unorganised. Just gone to Halfords because Jack took us, changed it over, we're good to go. He backed off. Yeah, just done the first run. Uh, mastered the burnout. That was pretty cool. Rocks, what's your fastest 60 foot so far? What in all, out of all time? Yeah. 135. We've hit a fuel pressure trip, not quite sure why. Last run it done, it had the same thing, and we put more fuel in it. It might be worthwhile draining the fuel and putting new fuel in it again, but yeah, the track was holding well at the launch. <laughs> the fuel pressure trip so it was obviously a lack of fuel in the tank i uh, done another run just now it wasn't my best 60 foot it's the uh, 100th of a second off felt really really good 
Car started dancing about a little bit, tried keeping it pinned. But then obviously, either it's a case of my lap talent, but it really got out of shape at the eighth mile. I tried correcting it as best as I could within my ability, and it felt to me as if it was gonna to rotate towards the wall. So natural instinct is to lift. So I lifted, so I had to abort that run. It's taking a log now, checking the tire pressures again. And he's gonna get Tony to have a look at where we got out of shape. Uh, and maybe he can make a few adjustments and put power down a little bit later or maybe earlier. But he's the god, so he knows. Uh, but yeah, that run was poetry, but I had to lift. Honestly guys, where I'm feeling right now, if it is what we think it is, then yeah, emotions are probably talking more than anything else, but more than likely the chances are um, it's over. But um, yeah, we've lost boost, went out again, car refused to go into launch control, and then we turned the car off, turned the car on again, just to reset the Motec. It agreed to go into launch, but it didn't sound, if I must be honest, right. The car launched, took off, and that's it. It just cut, there's no warnings. Um, no error messages that came up. Car lost boost, so put my foot down and there's just no boost. Came back, we saw a vacuum had blown off, off the blow off valve uh, on the passenger side, so UK passenger side. Uh, quickly spotted by Buzz, we uh, zipped that line off, refitted it, went out again and no boost. So right now we can't visually see anything uh, where our pipes popped off or um, lower intercooler, upper intercooler, any boost pipes are off. Uh, there may be, but from what we can see from the limited access we have, uh, nothing seems off. So there's uh, a couple of other things that we are suspecting right now. I've got a feeling that it wasn't launching because it wasn't holding boost. But then how did it engage launch control then? Why not? Buzz is taking a log off for Tony, and as soon as we take the log off, the car's going in the trailer, we're calling it a day for today. Uh, but yeah, it's been a good day to be fair. Another day without the result we desired, what we came out for, pick up Jack Malpass again. Always comes out to support us, we've always let him down. But maybe there's a possibility he's the bad luck charm. I might be. <laughs> that would never be the case, never be the case. I might be. We'll win together, we'll win together. Yeah. We've got an issue. So Buzz has taken the log off uh, the car and uh, has fed it back to Tony. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately we leave today uh, without the desired seven second pass. But Wait, after today, we fully believe. Oh, check this, look at this. <laughs> the guy's wearing lubes. What the hell, man? To a what a guy. After today, it's a definite, it's a seven second car. But where it's going to go from now on, I do not know. Uh, we'll let Buzzfeed you know what Tony said. Tony thinks it could be potentially damaged turbo. And although we find a little boost leak pipe, whatever, we're going to see what it is. But listen, Rox is deflated at the moment, but we go through periods where I'm sad, he's sad, and we normally pick each other up. But we'll see what happens. We're not quitters though. Peace out, guys. Till next time.